back again. I just learned that I, uh, I made a video for a viewer a few minutes ago, and I made something other than what she was actually trying to do. So we're going to try this again. Um, the request is to have a um, an, a shape, a solid, or a, um, an outline of a shape. Like, in her case, she wants to do a state that she lives in, um, and take the outline and just have the word home attached right to the outline. The whole inside is going to be hollow. Um, so we're going to go for this one. Um, I'm going to go to Google and just search for a state outline. So I came up with this in my Google search. Let me go back a little bit. I just did, oh, actually I didn't. No, I just looked for an outline here. Um, so you just pick one that you like. We're going to copy this image. We're going to come over to Inkscape and paste it in. And as you can see, it has a solid background. We're going to trace this so it's an SVG. Go to Path. Trace bitmap. Um, take smooth off if it's checked uh, so that it doesn't oversimplify all of your curves and stuff. Make sure remove background is checked. And this is just a black and white image, so two colors is fine. We're going to hit OK. And now we have two. We have this one that's obviously hollow. And we have this one that has the solid background. This one is useless to us, so we're going to delete it. And this is the one we want. And now, all we're trying to do is put the word home right here. And kind of have it make this line disappear behind it so that it looks like the outline just continues to the word home. So we're going to add some text. And pick a font that we like. Um, I know she specified she wanted a script font. So I'm going to use... I happen to love this font. I think I got it on Defont, but I'm not even sure, honestly. It's called Autumn in November. If I click my selector tool and hold control, I can drag this to as big as I want it. I'm going to do maybe a little bit bigger than that. I'm going to go about that big. All right, so that's what we're going to try to do is put this on there, but we don't want to see that line through the back of it. So we're going to take this. By the way, whenever you have a word um, in text still, a lot of times you'll see this, you see these little ghost lines. They're not really there, don't worry about them. As soon as you make this into a path, those will all be gone. So we're going to go path, whoops, object to path, and that will make each letter a separate path. But we don't want four separate paths, we want one path. So we're going to draw a box around all four of them, and you can either hit Control plus plus, or you can go to path, Union, control plus plus, and that will make all four of those. See now, I can like use it as an eraser and just to wipe away all those ghost lines. But now, if you look at these, if you go to your node editor over here, you'll see it's all one path. Ton of little not nodes. Um, by the way, that scrolling is just hold the control button and use your scroll bar on your mouse to scroll in and out, and you'll zoom your page in. So now we have our object, and we're going to put it on our state. What we're going to do is slice this out of this to get rid of the part of the line that we want. But once we do that, we're not going to have this word home anymore. So we have to make a copy of it first. You can hit Control D for duplicate. And that will make a copy of your word. Of any object for that matter. Just take that out of the way for the moment. Now we want this one. We're going to hold the Shift button and click on the State so that we have both of them selected. You see the dotted boxes around both? So now they're both selected. If you do path difference, it slices it out of it. You still see all of this weird little stuff in here, though we don't want any of that, obviously. Um, so here, I'm sure there are much different ways to do this, but this is the way I do it. I'm going to zoom in real far again, control and scroll up so that I can zoom in. So now you can see that the word home was in here, but it left all of these black lines. So we want everything in between the very, the whole rest of the state gone. So we go to our node editor, and all I'm going to do is draw a box. Just drag it. I'm using just the left button on my mouse, and I'm dragging it out of the box. Those last couple of nodes are going to be, I have to do them separately. But we're going to drag a box around all those nodes and delete. Now these couple, I'm going to zoom in a little further. And just grab, you just want to be careful not to grab these nodes or you're going to start messing with the rest of your image. Okay, so now we have those out. 
Now we're going to go back to the selector tool, grab our word, and put it where it belongs. I'm going to zoom in here so that you make sure you're lining this up right. So we're going to put this, we'll put it like that. But now you still have two objects. We kind of want this all to be one nice solid line. So right now I have the state selected. I'm going to hit shift, click on that. So again, I have both objects selected. And this time, instead of difference, you're going to do path union. Okay, this happens sometimes because one of the objects is not a path, cannot perform the operation. I don't know why it does this, but all you have to do when this happens, it happens a lot, is go to node editor and you'll see why it happened. You can see all the nodes on the state, but you don't see them on home for some reason. I don't know why. So if I click on that one, you'll see all the nodes, then hold shift and click on that one, you'll see all the nodes on both of them. Now you do your union, and it'll work for you. So now we have one object, home, attached to the state, and Amy, I am reasonably sure this is what you were actually going for. So hopefully this one helped you. Um, if anybody has anything else that they're struggling with, you want to try to see me demonstrate for you, feel free to leave me a message, private message, or right on the video. And uh, I try to answer all the questions as, as much as I can. But thanks a lot for watching, and uh, enjoy your day.